What we're going to do here is get Dad uh, telling us just a little bit of um, advice on maybe how to how to find you know how to find the right match with some girls here with uh, well, for the girls. How would you how would I introduce how would you introduce you? Me? Yeah. As the father of the eminent Saint, I uh, mean three M research <laughs> scientist. Yeah, right. Right. Great quarterback. So I got all these daughters, Dad, and I I oh, need to I, tell them. Well, I have these daughters, and I need to tell them how to find the right guy. Well, no, I, I I tell. After many years at St. John, an all boys school, and I finally got some coeds in my classes. Oh yeah. And boy, by the way, first of all, I have to say how when I did first get them, I was so excited. I rushed home to tell Peggy about that, and uh, she said, "What do you? What's so? Why come you so excited about that? What's so good about having all these coeds in your class?" I said, "Well, boy, after all these years, I finally got girls in my class. So what?" I said, "Well, God, they're sh sharp. They're good looking. They're they actually take notes." <laughs> <laughs> And I said, so, and she says, so what? I says, well, I'm learning a lot from them. She said, what What can you learn from a bunch of girls? And what's a class, coaching class? She said, what can you learn from a bunch of... I said, it didn't take me long to learn that there was no way in heck I was going to hold my stomach in for a whole hour. <laughs> <laughs> so I do tell these girls that if they want a good guy... Uh -huh. A great guy uh -huh. to uh, hook up with one of our football guys, St. John's football guy. I'm prejudiced against that because, you know, I just think they're super. I've been around them a long time, and, and I've watched what they've done after they leave college. Not only while they're in college, what they do after it. There's a lot of great successes out of that. So what I said, you want, that, that would get you the right start to get a football guy, but... Now, if you're not, if you want the very finest of the finest, you got to go get an offensive lineman. Uh -huh. <laughs> These are the guys that are going to be the perfect possible husband for you. Just think of a guy, the offensive lineman. He is the guy that does all the work, everything that's good, he creates. It's his job to. <laughs> protect the quarterback, to make the hole for for the running back, to make the pass, everything look good. He's got to do it. If it doesn't if he doesn't do his job, every looks everybody looks bad. Uh -huh. So it's up to him to do it. And when he does it, he does a great job and all he gets no credit. <laughs> he he doesn't expect any credit because he never has got any. He's never going to get any credit. He's, he's just a thankless job. He's a, you know, so how can you beat a guy that always does what he's told, never questions anything, very obedient, very, very obedient, but there's always a hitch to this. You can't possibly get everything perfect. As good as he is and as great as it's all going to be, it's not going to happen unless you make the first move. Because he is not going to make the first move. There's no way in the world you're going to be get an offensive lineman to make the first move. The quarterbacks do that, though, don't they? The quarterbacks, you got to lock up your daughters with the quarterbacks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but those line, those centers are pretty, pretty humble guys, huh? <laughs> and the center, of course, he's the ultimate guy because nothing good happens until he snaps that ball nothing happens <laughs> he's he creates everything he and he gets no credit whatsoever he's the least you know that's yeah. true so you get a bad snap pardon <laughs> tell us a bad snap and then, then when the bad snap happens over the guy's head or the quarterback fumbles 
Mm. He, then he gets all the, yeah, all the credit yeah. from credit <laughs> that kind of a job. <laughs> <laughs> but he never complains. Here's the thing about an offensive lineman, to tell you, though. He'll, he'll do his job, protect the quarterback, and he's so busy doing his job that he never really knows what's happening. He doesn't know what happened. <laughs> he hears a cheer. Oh, God, what happened here? Oh, Jesus, the guy, we must have scored. And he figures <laughs> out, yeah, God, I guess we scored. And he rushes down there, doesn't know what happened, but he sees a guy in the end zone with a ball, a receiver or a back, and and he rushes down. He's the first guy there to congratulate him. He doesn't know how he got there. But he, <laughs> but he, but he, he, he was so busy doing his job. There's a guy on him, a big guy that's trying to kill him right there. And he's got to protect that guy uh -huh. so that he doesn't know what happens. It's like a war. It's the guy in the trench over here, he hasn't got a clue what they're bombing Berlin over here. Uh -huh. You know, he's got his job right here. And that's uh -huh. all he knows. Uh -huh. Let's all the quarterbacks and running backs and right receivers get all the, all the glory, all the compliments. Okay, so I'll, I'll pass this on to my daughters and... Uh, too late. Yeah, too late. I still got no. I still got, got Esther. One. I still got one left. Hey. Hi, God. Hello. You got that, Esther? Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Well, thank you very much, Grandpa. That's good. Good advice. Offensive linemen, aren't they? Would you say? I'd say they good guys. Really good guys. Never complain. Never. I've observed that after all these years. The, the good ones.